Hello and welcome back to my channel or oh, welcome with you a new year. Today we are doing a get ready with me for work where I'm going to be using this new palette that I got from Cosmetic Brushes, the Undergrowth palette. Now I did do a look with it where I used the greens so I think I'm going to make a look with these colors. These colors down here I think. These orange colors. So, this will be my second impressions with using this palette. So, I think I'll start off by using this marsh color here. Oh, you know what? Let me pause this. I haven't even put on, I haven't even put on my primer yet. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just totally scatterbrained right now. Okay, let's just start with this marsh color right here. This is a very nice palette. I just love cosmic brushes. I think they're becoming one of my favorite indie brands. Probably like them even better than Unearthly Cosmetics. I know. What am I even saying right now? The palettes are just becoming so good. I like them so much. I like that Cool Tools palette so much. And I'm really liking this palette. Even the Nude Troll palette wasn't that bad. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't that bad. The only palette that I have that I really didn't like that much was the Serenity palette. And that was the first palette I got from them. And I wasn't going to buy from them again after I got that Serenity palette. But um, I decided to go ahead and try something else from them. And I'm glad I did. Well, I did. I got that gothic. I got that gothic palette from them. And I'm glad I got that from them because that really changed my mind on them. And then I got the Delicious Delights palette, which is a... Which is more pastel palette, which I'm not really into pastels, but I really do like that palette. So, and this, I love the grungy greens and yellows and the oranges. So this palette was right up my alley. So, you know, I had to get this one. Which, okay, let's try an orange out. Let's try this one. It's called Clay. Which brings me to probably my subject today which is I have just been overspending lately pretty much all year long really if we put things in perspective probably since well Probably since my makeup journey began, really, but especially this year since my mom passed away back in January. It's kind of gotten out of control. And um, I'm really trying, really trying my best to do something about it. I really think I'm going to need to go see somebody about it because I've tried low buys and no buys but I can't seem to I really can't seem to stop myself from overspending thankfully I'm not in debt I do have a lot of afterpay payments <laughs> but um, but, and I do have a small credit card, but I'm not like thousands of dollars in debt or anything like that. It's not at that point, but I'm afraid that if I don't check myself, it can get that way eventually. Because I want, I'm not able to save up any money right now.
I'm not saving any money. I mean, I have money put back into retirement accounts and stuff like that. But I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like a savings account, like a emergency account. And I need to be saving up money for something like that. Three, two, one. Okay, now I think I'm going to go into this color called Sludge. That's a nice name for a shade, isn't it? Sludge. We got clay. We got marsh, clay, and sludge. What do we think so far? Okay, now we're going to blend this in. I'm even thinking of after I do my palette project 365 series after that ends at the middle of next year, doing a massive, and I'm talking about a massive palette declutter. And I'm not talking about so I can buy new stuff either. And only buying from brands, my favorite brands. and only keeping the palettes from my favorite brands. So I don't know. I don't know, I'm thinking about that. Hmm. I'm liking this look. This would definitely be a brand that I would keep all my palettes from. I would definitely go through my palettes and go, well, I have this one. What else matches this one? Like all the palettes that are similar. That, like this is my favorite palette of this what are all similar to it that I could get rid of I mean even ColourPop wouldn't be safe well maybe my ColourPop Mega palettes would be safe What do we think here? What are we thinking? Okay, let's move on to a shimmer. What is this shimmer here? Ooh. That looks nice. I love their shimmers because they're very sparkly. They have sparkles in their shimmers, like glitter shimmers. That's what makes them so unique.
This one is called Fungi. Oh boy, Fungi. What a fun name, Fungi. He's a fun guy, isn't he? Ha 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 ha. I'm gonna get that on a brush and spread it around a little bit more. What a fun guy. That I love this look. This palette would be going nowhere. Nowhere for sure. Oh my gosh. Mm. Kind of ashwagandha this morning. What else? What else do we have? We've got fireflies. Ooh, fireflies. Oh, we've got a multi-chrome here. we got to throw that into the mix. Absolutely. Put that in the center there. Pounce that on there. Ooh, la la. Loving this look. Okay, I'm gonna go finish off my eyes. Clean them up. Put some eyeliner on. Put some mascara on. The, bo the boring stuff. You know, the boring stuff. And I will be right back. Okay, here are the eyes. And let us go ahead and put on... Put on the makeup. Put on the makeup. We're just going to do a light layer today. Because we're, we don't need a lot of makeup. It's not that, it's not that cold outside or anything like that. It looks like a fall makeup look, but... We're having a faux fall here where I live, where it's not, it's not that cool outside or anything like that. So what would y'all think about seeing a like massive, massive declutter around the middle next year? like? A total brutal palette declutter. I would have to find people to give my palettes to though. I could not bear to throw them away. I would have to find a list of people who would be willing to take my palette. Because after this project palette, I will have used pretty much all of my palettes once. And then it will be time to say goodbye to them, I think. But now I need to find makeup, now I need to find material to do for my channel. But I don't know. This channel's just not, this channel's just not doing as well as I thought it would do. I was thinking maybe moving more towards Instagram or TikTok. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. I am just thinking out loud. I'm just talking 
and thinking what shade is this what shade is this blush wait walnut okay Putting thoughts, putting things out into the universe. Putting thoughts out into the universe. I don't even know if I would have the heart to. Have the heart to give up my palettes. I don't know. They're just things that existed in my existence for a short while. What I'm afraid of is if I give them up, I'll just want to buy more. That is my fear, that I'll want to replace them. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm not saying I won't buy any makeup. I'll still buy other forms of makeup. I'm not going on like a no-buy. Hi, Chloe. What's wrong? What? I'm filming, yeah. When are... Okay, I'll be done by four. Yeah, I'll be done by then. Just talking to my daughter. She's got friends coming over. She wants me to be done before her friend comes over. Okay, now we need some powder. I got these little blushes, cream blushes from AOA from Shop My Thing. They're really good. Really good little blushes. Of course I would do. I'm gonna do be doing a highlighter declutter soon. Probably be doing a blush declutter before too long. I know I just did a blush declutter not too long ago, but I've acquired a lot of blushes since then. I have a lot of blushes. But 
I need to definitely go on a, that's what I need. I need to probably start at the beginning of the year. It's, it's hard to go on a low no buy this time of year when it's Christmas time. I'll probably be buying for everybody else. Not myself so much at this point. Because everybody's come out with their holiday makeup and I pretty much bought everything. You're going to be seeing a lot of new stuff come through on the channel. It's stuff I've already bought. I've got lots of boxes over here. I'm not trying to say, oh, look at all the stuff I got. Look at all the stuff I got. That's not what I'm trying to be like. I've honestly always, truly, have always been the kind of person that when I get a hobby, like shop, like, like I used to be a knitter, I used to be a sewer, I used to do things like that. I would always buy and I do makeup. I always used to always overbuy everything that I needed, all the supplies I always needed for the projects. I would just always overbuy stuff that I needed for my project. I've always been that way. Um, I think I've said this on here before. It used to be the way me and my mom used to bond, used to spend time together as we would shop together. So sometimes me doing that, me shopping, I don't know, it's kind of a way for me to cope with dealing with her loss. But I mean, doing makeup, doing, doing, actually doing the makeup is good therapy for me. I like making the videos. I like doing the makeup. I like talking to you guys. I like doing the lives. I don't ever want to stop doing that. If I do nothing else on this channel, I still want to do lives. For sure. But as far as growth on this channel, I haven't been, I've been stuck at the same number for a very long time. And my, the views on my videos are not doing very well. It makes me wonder if I should I don't know still put so much effort into it or we'll just move on to something else
I just really don't know. I'm just at a point where I'm just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. And if you're watching this on my Get Ready With Me For Work channel, I'm talking about my main channel that's been monetized. It's Jennifer Loves Makeup, if you ever want to go check it out. I don't know. I don't know. Let, let's put some green under the eye. Let's have a little fun. This color is called nettle. Nettle. No. That's how I say it. Nettle. I promised my daughter I'd be done in about 20 minutes, so I've got lots of time. I'm making good time here. Wow, this eye look. That's definitely up there in the top eye looks of the month. Definitely up there. I am going to put... Yeah, I'm going to put some eyeliner in. Definitely. Put some eyeliner in. Yes. And then and jumping. It's it. I can't do the the big um palette declutter right now because I'm doing my palette project palette 365 I am currently in month try August September October I'm currently in month five of it right now so I really want to see that project through to its end okay we need a inner corner we need an inner corner highlight what shall we use? Let's use a matte. Let's use this matte called Lichen. A kind of a yellow color. Because we like a yellow in a corner. I know what's really going to set this look off is a dark lip. Mm-hmm. We got that. Now let's put on a dark lip. <laughs> we got this by Ace Beauty. It's Upgrade.
I'm not how's that for a Luke. A Luke. Oh, I want to put that over here. Things never want to work out after I take them down from the clips. Okay, so how are we doing with this, Luke? Look at us finishing up in 30 minutes. Is that a record? Wow, I think it might be a record. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you for coming with me to my little get ready with me for work. I think, I think we got a banger here today. This is the palette that we used. The Undergrowth Palette by Cosmic Brushes. I used this color, Marsh, right here. This is my inner corner color here. I used this color here called Clay. I used this color here called Sludge. I used this color here called Fungi. And then what did I use? Oh, I used this little multi-chrome here called Fireflies too. So, let me know what you think about my look down in the comments. Let me know what you think about um, things, just things in general. And thank you for watching. Please give this a thumbs up. Please share it out with your friends if you think they would enjoy it. And, um, this is unedited, so I don't have any videos to show up here for you. But, um, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, take care. Goodbye.